What's going on guys? I'm gonna show you how to build your uh, storm shield defense. Uh, this is for, you know, your first storm shield. So I completed mine a while back. So that's why I got this build here. Nothing else to do. So when you spawn in, it's not gonna look like this. It's gonna be empty or whatever you built. The amplifier is gonna be here. You're gonna place that, okay? So you have two spawns where they spawn at to attack this one. It's this spawn right here, okay? And then it's this spawn <coughs> over here, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to build both of them, at least how I build them, okay? So I'm gonna start here. Do that, do that. Place a floor here, triangle over it. The floor, head up here. Actually, break this down. I'm gonna do something else. I'm gonna do this. Give them more time in a trap tunnel. Okay. This won't be here for you guys. Let me open this so I can get through. All right. Okay, then put a floor all there. So on this side, they're gonna spawn here. And I'm gonna come through the tunnel here. Just like this. Come this way up. All right. Another tip I'd like to show you guys. Uh, Hus spawn. I'm gonna do this in all the locations. The key of storm shield really to make it easy is uh, you need to make them take damage as soon as possible, as soon as they spawn. So what I do for that, I use those tire traps. And I build them up. All right, so we're gonna do two, we're gonna do two walls to get up here. And we're just gonna place, I'm gonna switch it. And I'll keep this, all right. Just gonna place them, floors around, down. I'm gonna come back around and add the traps. Just wanna build everything first. And it's perfect timing. You want to build three. I don't need this here because this rock's already here. But you would build three high. And the reason you build three high is just because you saw the lava ball. It doesn't destroy the traps. So you're good. All right. So we're going to come back around. I'm going to add traps. Now, some of them come to this side. What I do for this. Do this. Not that. Okay. This is pretty simple. Just floor, floor, and just spam walls. All right. <sighs> Excuse me. It is three in the morning right now. Okay. So some will spawn. They'll come right through here and just get smashed by by traps. So now we can add traps. Okay. So if you have them, this will only work for gas traps. Now, what I used to do, I would be this low, right? And I would just add a whole bunch of gas traps. But those lava balls would just destroy and I have to rebuild it. With the ceiling drop traps, I don't have to worry about that at all. Now, if all you have is gas traps, you don't have those tire traps, it's all good. You'll just have to keep replacing them from time to time. So. If you had gas traps, you just add your gas traps here. And if you had tire traps, you just add your, you have to jump. Uh -uh. Jump and add, you gotta jump and add them, all right? So, like I said, if you can't do the tire traps, just do the gas traps, all right? So that's what I did back in the day for my storm shows before, this was even a thought, all right? <clears throat> so, I'm gonna fill this up with gas traps. I don't got that many, I can make some, but not gas traps, you know, ceiling drop traps. Anyway, you fill them up with ceiling gas traps. Jesus. Ceiling drop traps. All right. You can get in a tunnel. If you have them, add gas traps. If you don't have gas traps, just add any 
you know ceiling traps you have I prefer gas traps they're the best traps to use so you add gas traps for the uh, ceiling for the walls right here if you have them at wall dynamo there let's see and that'll be it with the zapper here will do more damage for these broadsides to be more effective they need to ricochet and bounce off of walls to do their most damage so like here right you don't want to really put it here I mean it could bounce off but it'll probably bounce up so I would put a wall dynamo there now for the floors if you have them use retractable four spikes you can use tar pits you can use freeze traps but to make it simple something I know everybody has these floor spikes so we'll add the floor spikes All right okay now here we'll add broadsides you'll continue with the gas traps you'll continue with the floor spikes you can put you can put broadsides here pirate traps pirate trap pirate trap pirate trap uh, gas trap alright so that's built I'm not gonna fully do it just to save time see so sit here for like an hour building this fully and on this side same thing I'm gonna add broadside broadside just add it all the way around the sides wooden floor spikes whatever floor traps you have and gas traps alright simple enough <coughs> now when they spawn on this side okay what I do excuse me <sighs> alright let's build these floors okay okay I'm going too fast just uh you know you can go back and you know rewind and stuff just want to make sure I'm not sitting here forever because I know guys don't want to watch all this for that long unless some of you do but it is what it is all right break that okay mm, yeah we'll do that why not okay and we're gonna add let's see walls here just so they don't come this way they'll either come through the trap tunnel <sighs> excuse me it's like four in the morning So we have two pathways for them to come through. Okay. Add those. Add that here. The reason I do these three walls is just because the broadside just does damage to the husk. And I love doing this. I would add, add uh, gas ceilings here for gas traps, but sometimes, I'll show you, sometimes the husk, because they spawn, you know, here, and they spawn over there, and they spawn down there, sometimes they won't come through the tunnel, I want them to, if they come through, I want them to just right, fall right into the traps, not be here, then bash on the wall, and, you know, mess up the traps, so I just leave these open, alright, so let's see. Alright, it's pretty much taken care of. So, same thing like I did on the other side with the tire traps. We're gonna go three walls high. We have one here, two, three. Okay, we're gonna place the floors. Alright, like I said, you wanna do this just so they take damage as soon as possible. As soon as they spawn, they're taking damage. A lot of damage before they even enter the trap tunnel make your life a whole lot easier okay I'm just looking at the spawns where they spawn at spawn here. we'll just fill this up yeah that's good all right that's good obviously upgrade your traps upgrade your material if you have it um, because a lava could just hit it one time if it's low tier and destroy it. So, yeah. 
I just want to go through. We're going to add... We're going to add ceiling traps. Make sure to jump to get it. We're going to add ceiling traps all around. You don't got to do nothing here. No need. Unless you want to add some traps here, but you don't have to. I'm not. All right. We're going to add a wall dynamo. Why? Because broadsides won't do any real damage. They'll just fly down there. This will do me. The zapping will do more damage. Okay. For the floors, like I said, just go ahead and add some floor, wooden floor spikes. Why not? Add those all over the floors. Okay. I'm going to come back. Add these pirate traps. All right. Go ahead and add them. Add all of them all on the walls. Come down here, add them. And then come up to these openings that we made. All right. I'm going to add wall dynamo. Not wall dynamo. You could add wall dynamos too. I used to do that. I used to just. Wall, dy wall dynamos are just fine. I just like to look at the uh, pirate traps. All right. So you could add wall dynamos. Gas traps. All right. So. Hopefully this is a quick video. Kind of rush through it. Just to make sure it's good. Alright, so. <clears throat> we built. Storm Shield Defense 1. We built this first area. Alright. Then we built the second area over here. And then when you build a Storm Shield, you can just sit back and watch. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Now for my next video, I'll be building, because it's going to be for Storm Shield Defense 2, you're going to need to be, for Storm Shield Defense 2, you're going to need to be doing this one over here, or you're going to be doing the one right there at B, right? So my next Storm Shield, I'll show you guys how to build this. This is going to be blocked off for you guys, so you can do part of it, but once you do Storm Shield Defense 2, it'll be more open, and you'll be able to fully build it. But, uh, yeah, and, you know, I should end the video soon, but this one looks difficult, don't worry about it. This is my favorite build, favorite build. When I get to this part, you guys are going to, I love this, I love building this amplifier. It's just, all right, it's like, okay, it's all good, I'll show you guys soon enough. The lava one, don't worry about that, we'll get to that. I did this years ago like 2017 this is like my favorite build i just left it i watched uh back then i was I used to watch david dean and yeah i got this build from him yeah anyway Alrighty. so that should be it good luck with your storm shield defense one take it easy fellas peace out